Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my winter TBR. It's only five books because I read really slowly and I honestly don't even think I'm gonna get to all five of these. But um, if you need some inspiration, hopefully this video helps you. If you want the more cozy, snowy, just wintry books, then hopefully at least one of these will call out to you. The first one that I have on my TBR is The Secret History by Donna Tart, the quintessential dark academia book. I have started reading it in the past and it was really, really good, but I stopped. Um, but this one starts, it's like a group of friends and at the beginning, one of them is either found dead or murdered and then we're taken back in time and shown how they reach this point. But uh, for me, it was just the atmosphere. Like it was so autumnal, wintry, the crisp air, the descriptions of the trees and the leaves falling, the fireplaces, just all of that. And I just love dark academia in general. Like I love the, um, I love reading about these toxic friendships and just how self-involved they are and just that downward spiral. I just love it and I just love academia in general. I love university settings so it's, it's just perfect for me. Then the next one I would recommend is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. This was also my full TBR but clearly I didn't read it so um, it's a really big book which doesn't help but um, it follows two magicians, Jonathan Strange, Mr. Norrell. One of them is a more traditional magician then one of them is like a newer magician who comes into the scene and there's this kind of competition between them but they're also forced to work together to achieve something i'm not sure exactly what i think it's during the napoleonic wars and i've heard that it's a great book to read in the winter then i have a gentleman in moscow this one my mom gifted me i think earlier this year it's about uh, a man in 1922 who was an aristocrat in Russia and then the Bolsheviks um, put him under house arrest in this hotel. Obviously a huge change to his living conditions because I think he's staying in an attic now and he's sort of trapped inside while history and just so much change is unfolding outside of this place where he is confined. And I think it just leads to self-discovery. I think he, he develops friendships and relationships with the people in the hotel. It just sounds great. And I love Russian history. Russian history was like my favorite history to learn about in school. So I'm really excited for it. Next, we have Wuthering Heights, the classic, I know, but I am really intimidated by this one. So we follow this toxic, passionate relationship between Catherine and Heathcliff. And I think what's happened is in the past, Heathcliff was not allowed to pursue or uh, end up with Catherine. I don't know if it was her family, but someone put a stop to this. And he wants to take revenge. And I believe just the setting, the Yorkshire Moors, um, the wind, the rain, just the whole stormy atmosphere really adds to the book, reflects their relationship. And I'm excited to get into it. The last one is The Snowman. So recently I was in Oslo and I'm doing this thing where whenever I visit a new country, I want to buy a book that's either set in that country or by an author from that country. And in this case, I bought The Snowman by Joe Nesbo, a mystery. I feel like it's a pretty popular one, but basically this kid's mother um, disappears and outside of his window, he sees her pink scarf tied around a snowman. And this detective get, gets involved, Harry Hall, I think his name is. And he's trying to uncover what's happened. And he's noticed that over time, a lot of women wives have gone missing. And then soon when another one goes missing, he realizes something bigger is at play. He thinks there's a serial killer loose and I think we just figure out what's going on and hopefully he finds the serial killer. I'm really excited because I haven't read a mystery or murder mystery in a long time. I hope it's just so good that I'm just sitting there turning the pages, unable to get up. 
that's all for today i hope maybe one of these is something you want to add to your tbr let me know what your own christmas tbr is and if you have any recommendations for me but that's all for now i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe if you did and i will see you again very soon thank you bye